Hey guys, today's episode is being brought to you by Evolve Bicycles and E-Bikes here in Celebration, Florida. Man, it is places da bomb. They hooked me up on my G-Force. They got it all adjusted in and all that kind of thing like that. I rode it 10 miles this morning. Not a hitch. It was perfect. So what we're going to do now is go on inside, check out the store, say hello to the guys. So hey, we'll be back in a minute. Guys, they even got bikes here for the itty bitty, itty bitty ones, all the way up to seniors, uh, electric bikes, standard pedal bikes, uh, some of them crazy exercise bikes that look like that. I don't know what the heck they call that thing. Uh, all it says is go. But you can see they have all types of different varieties and selection of bicycles. There's a great section for accessories here, which is outstanding. I'm looking at this seat right here, which is one of my biggest problems, but that's a nice seat right there. And they got the bags for your racks, cool cases, cell phone uh, cases, horns. I mean, just about anything you'll want is right here at this store. And welcome to Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, on today's episode, I'm changing out these bars. Uh, they are pretty much straight, and what happens is my hands go to sleep. So what I decided to do was to go to these. Uh, thanks to uh, Jeremiah McIntosh, I got the right particular ones, and they're going to sit back in here, give me a little bit of sweat back, relax my hands a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to go through the disassembly of the bars and the assembly of the new handlebar system. So hey, stay tuned. But before we get going on the handlebar replacement, guys, I want to bring you up to date on what was going on with the G-Force. You know, I had the bent derailleur and I bought a new uh, derailleur and I could get it almost right. And, I, and then all of a sudden it would just flip the other way. And I just could not, didn't matter what I did, I could not get it dialed in a hundred percent and so i finally gave up you know i said to heck with it i'm going to take it to some professionals and i took it down to evolve bicycles and e-bikes uh, these guys started working on it and they said okay we'll just adjust the derailleur and everything will be cool and so i was out walking around the lot and all this kind of stuff uh waiting on them to finish that up and then i get a phone call saying hey there's something definitely wrong here, and we got to figure out what it is. Do you mind if you leave your bike? I said, no problem. I, I need this thing fixed. So I basically told them, do whatever it needs to be done. You don't need my permission. Just make it happen. It turned out that the shift cable that was installed from the factory was bad. And it just kept binding up and all that kind of stuff. And, and it was just, even they couldn't get the derailleur 100% dialed in. Uh, so they replaced that uh, shift cable in here, got it all set up, and it just fell into place. Everything shifting fine and all that kind of stuff. And this was a very, very low cost uh, repair, guys. It, it was under $25 uh, for their work. And my, my shout out to Evolve uh, Bicycles and E-Bikes there in, in uh, Celebration. They did a great job on my scoot. And I'm really, really happy about that because now I don't have to worry about that no more. I can get my truss level up. And also guys, uh, as you can see, I changed out my saddle. I went to a giddy up. I was using a cloud nine. I did not like the way it sat down. And, and uh, again, I'm a senior, I'm an old guy and I'm vertically challenged. I'm only five foot five inches tall. And so I went with this, this wider saddle uh, with the built-in uh, caution light and all that kind of stuff from giddy up. 
I haven't tested it out yet, but I wanted to bring you up to date. This is the saddle I changed to. Uh, one of the things I have to worry about is getting my leg over the top of this thing to ride it because of my vertically challenged issues. So this is really going to help me out. I haven't tested it yet. Uh, once I get the bars installed and all that kind of thing, then I am going to go ahead and test out all of this stuff. So anyway, let's get going on the bar uh, replacement and we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is go ahead and start uh, disassembly of all the paraphernalia on the bike itself. You take a number four here uh, to take off the extension bar, which houses all my camera mounts and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And it's just a number four T handle, a hex head um, wrench that I'm using. This will make this whole disassembly a lot easier once I get all this Felbergarb out of the way. Okay. Now they should have those little circle rings right here. Get those off. Now I can start focusing on the disassembly itself. So one of the things I got to do is to take off the controller. And I'm looking to see because I don't know what's holding what. They're all small stuff. This one, got to remove the brake handles. This is the throttle control. So let's let's just start going. Okay, for the hydraulic brake mount, it is a number four T handle. Get that off the bar. Okay, and then put the screw back in. I want to lose no parts. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Pop that brake handle off. Same thing again, put the screw back in. And I saw they have Loctite on them, which is really cool. So I'll be replacing it with new layer of Loctite as we go. Now under here, that's a Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm gonna remove the shift cable system here. Being gentle, because I don't know what this thing is made from. material wise that thing's got a little little locky thing uh, okay got to be careful with this one so I'm gonna have to slide it off the bar it looks like somebody put that back in just a hair because it doesn't open up like the others do all right now now to take off the uh, control pad uh, it's a two and a half hex head bolt I don't know if it pivots or what it does it looks like it just unlocks let me just be careful here I don't know I don't know what it does and how it's connected it's got little nuts or bolts or don't know yet I'm gonna find out all right I got that one out Looks like it'll spring, but okay. Got those two little screws out. Now we're gonna do a visual check here to see what and how that's mounted in there. I think all I gotta do is just shush it off like that. Yep, that's it, okay. Take the little spacers out, control pads down. I'm gonna take off my side mirror. Okay, that's out. Now these got, oh wait a minute, let's take this out next. Now the throttle, I'm gonna take the throttle off. I don't know if that's going to be, that's going to be a three. See if I'm right. Yep. So taking the throttle off next, and it's a three. I don't see a, a split point on that either. So that might just have to slide off. I don't know. 
And the last one here on this side. Okay. Now we're gonna pop this one off. Then we just got the, well, the shift cable we loosened, but we couldn't get it off. So the next thing will be the handle grips. Again, doing the same thing, putting the same screw back in that spot, just to make sure I don't mess up. Now this should slide off because there's no way to break this. These grips got a set screw on them and I hope that's just to keep them tight. We're gonna find out here in just a minute. We're gonna take them off because that's the biggest, not problem, but that's the uh, next challenge. Okay, got that piece of cake. I'm gonna leave that screw in there though. Let's see if that is just to loosen them up. All right, we're at the point now where we're gonna try to get these off. Oh, all right, this is not gonna be a real problem, I don't think. Sorry about that, you didn't get to see it, but that one came off very fast. And very easy so that's one grip off now I can slide the I know I loosen that yep shift mechanism out okay now I want to get this one off that one came off real easy and that one did too done now take the thumb throttle and all of the controls are off the bars. Now you can see how pretty much straight these stock bars are. Now we have two screws here and they are number four hex head screws. We're going to loosen those and uh, take the bar off. Now again I will be using Loctite Blue when I reassemble everything because I don't want anything falling out of this mess and that just came right out of there there's the bar and it is pretty that's pretty straight now here's a comparison of what I'm replacing it with here's the stock bar and this is what I'm replacing it with I'll put a link in the description for the bar itself Let me see if I can just thread this in here. I don't know. How about that? All right, I got the new bar. I'm gonna loosen it up just a tad more. To get that in there. Now I could have took the cap off but I elected not to. There we go. And there we are. That's about where I want it right there. Now I've taken one of the screws out of the handlebar head clamp and I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on that. Get that one started in here and then I'm gonna pull the other screw out. Then I can get the bars positioned where I want them. Okay, now I'll take this one out and do the same thing. Okay, I want to get these where kind of a I'm guessing where I want them. Like right about there, I'm thinking. But I want to just get them started to cinch. I think I got them where I want them. I can always adjust them later. Now I'm going to alternate the tightening all right guys what i'm going to do now is torque down these bolts and that's got it right there all right guys the next thing to do is to go ahead and do the reassembly of all the components and uh, this task will be actually done this Actually, it's been a real simple task so far. 
But I hate saying that anymore because I said the derailleur is going to be a simple task and it turned out to be a phenomenal pain in the butt. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started on this and we'll finish it up and hopefully everything will work. Hi right, guys, I got this all installed. It really wasn't that big a deal. I uh, did have to, in this control pad right here, I had to add a little strips of rubber, and not much, about that long, uh, underneath there for it to clamp down. Uh, everything else is all secured, and you can see the angle of the bars itself is really excellent. Now, I'm gonna road test this again tomorrow, uh, like I said a minute ago, and uh, I will do some on-road video here giving you uh, how I feel about these bars, but so far they're pretty cool. Uh, the installation wasn't really that hard, so that was a good thing. So hey, we'll see you on the road. Well, hey guys, uh, we are about ready to launch out and test all these changes on the G-Force bike. I'm testing out the handlebars and testing out the giddy-up seat. And also today's episode is being sponsored by Evolve Bicycles and E-Bikes of Celebration, Florida. Uh, it's gonna be a fun day today. So anyway, guys, hey, we're gonna go out here and uh, test up this giddy up seat. Uh, it's a butterfly seat. It basically covers my whole derriere, which is kind of cool. Um, but right now, the shifting and everything that, that, that the guys at Evolve uh, Bikes did for me uh, with that derailleur problem and the cable problem is all fixed and it is running really, really good. So, hey, uh, we're going to continue our ride and we'll be back in a bit.
Hi guys, hey, uh, we have just been riding a little bit here. We got a, a few miles in already, and these new handlebars are the bomb. Uh, no sleepy hands, none of that stuff. It, I'm very relaxed sitting upright. These are really an excellent swept back set of bars. Again, I'll put the link in the description for those. And you can see out here, uh, I'm at my favorite lake. And if you look way off to your right, uh, you will see the two hot air balloons getting ready to cross over the lake. And that's really cool. I see that a lot when I'm kayaking. So anyway, guys, hey, we're gonna continue our ride. So hey, we'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, we're gonna wrap it up for this episode at uh, Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. We are gonna finish up here in the shop area of Evolve Bicycles and E-Bikes. Uh, again, they are in Celebration, Florida. These guys are the bomb. Fully loaded uh, facility, parts, shoes, bikes. I mean, everything from super duper racing bikes to little tiny kid bikes. You got everything you want right here. So, hey, check them out. Uh, I'll put their address in this particular uh, video and link to their uh, website and stuff like that. So, hey, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>